Yeah. So, uh, another you know, adage, uh, you know, you can choose your friends, you can't choose your family. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. There's, a, there's exceptions. You know, you're supposed to hate your family. You're supposed to hate your family. It's because if you don't, then you got twisted fucking scales. Unbalanced scales. You're changing the fucking rules because of your family. Now, there's a little bit of that tied in with respect. But it's not changing judgment. It's not twisting judgment. It's increasing mercy. Okay, so you might offer your family members a couple more times to really clarify. Right? Because there's room for more ambiguity because you're working together there's more understanding so more outlandish shit should be acceptable amongst your family now you don't get to choose where you're born or when you're born you don't get to choose what family you're born into okay but you do get to choose your friends and once you get old enough you get to choose, well, I mean, all the time. You get to choose your religion uh, if you're brought up in it. You know, Islam, for example, Christianity, Judaism, Hindu, it doesn't matter what you're brought up in. If you're brought up in that thing, if you fail to critically analyze it, if you just go with it, and uh, if you don't require proof to put your, like, eternal fucking being in. Uh, in the balance, you know, if you don't require proof, you know, then, then you're fucked, so, I mean, no matter where you come from, you're fucked, and there's no way that you can please God if you don't require proof, so, I mean, that's the main thing where, like, the Christians are just like, fuck you, stupid, fucking, deluded, fucking animals, because they're, they're just idolatrous fucks. I mean, they got no basis for fucking anything they do. At least, at least the the Muslims have basis. And, uh, you know, however tenuous you might think it is, as far as the story of Muhammad, beginning of Islam and stuff, uh, however tenuous you think it is, it has a lot more weight to it than uh, fractionized... Christianity. Anyway, you get to choose your religion. And when you choose your religion, okay, you you have to be all in. You're not going to be a half-ass fucking Muslim or a half-ass fucking Buddhist or whatever the fucking case is. If you do it half-assed, you're fucked. You're not even a fucking member. Right? I mean, you can... You can make everybody else believe, or at least outsiders believe that you are a member, but you didn't take the rules seriously, you stop fucking repping that, you know what I'm saying? So the thing with God is, it's actually a, one of the commands that you don't misrep misrepresent it. If you're going to operate his name. If you're going to operate in his name, you better damn well be doing the correct thing. If you're not doing the correct thing, you know, you better stop and fucking ask for, ask for advice. Um, so this goes with the, uh, Christians and fucking, uh, Hebrew roots and all the fucking, even the Jews and stuff, you know, it's everybody that claims the Bible as a source of their religion. Purports to believe theology that means that human beings are fucking depraved motherfucking fallen beings. They're not like they should be. They fuck up all the time. And because of that, there's rules. And the rules are not just fucking guidelines. Well, I mean, maybe in your religion they're guidelines, but by rules. They're not just fucking guidelines. They're fucking all the time motherfucking rules. They're all the time motherfucking rules. It says in there, you will love 
most high with all of your heart, all of your strength, all of your substance, all of your soul, all of your being, you will invest to love the most high and to establish justice wherever you are at and in whatever situation you are at. You will establish justice, period. That's what your fucking job is. Anything else is fucking fluffy. Like, your job is not to mollycoddle. Yes, that could be a component of your job to execute justice, is to mollycoddle. Maybe we gotta mollycoddle this guy. But, only when the time is appropriate, only when that tool is authorized to be used. Okay, you just gotta follow the law. There's laws in or regarding everything in the Bible. There's there's not a loophole. It's exhaustive. Um and so if you hold yourself out to be a Bible believer, you better damn well be doing that shit because you agree that if you're a Jew and I, I'm not I'm not sure about the Islamic conception of this, but if you're a Jew, you literally believe that some dude is going to show up at some time and reprimand you. Now, now they downplay the whole reprimand thing because Jews like to think that they're perfect. Um, reprimand you, reorganize you according to how Moses had you organized, and then fucking conquer your enemies. Who are your enemies? <coughs> Hopefully you got good enemies by then. Well, I mean, you will, because they'll be my enemies. Which means we're not going after the fucking skin color or fucking religious persuasion, okay? We're going after those who do evil, okay? It doesn't matter under what fucking guise you do evil. It just matters that you do evil. And if you do evil, you know, I want to sneak in your fucking back door while you're asleep. Wake you up with a bunch of fucking fish hooks. Okay, bind you up, fucking drag you, get you in so much fucking terror. I mean, even fucking, I'll get fucking pharmaceuticals and fucking inject them so that you are just so motherfucking terrified. It's fucking crazy. You might even fucking die from fucking too many chemicals. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I try. I mean, it depends on, depends on what, 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 what the goal is. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of this stuff needs to be on, maybe all of it needs to be on fucking camera. So it's like. Look, motherfuckers, this guy, he defrauded a thousand fucking employees. That's what he did. You know what happened? Blam, 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 blam. This guy's liable for fucking $15 billion in damage. He can't pay that motherfucking shit. That's why we got 127 fucking fish hooks on this apparatus right here. He's got no fucking, no fucking help. He's got no fucking chance, no fucking hope of motherfucking getting out of this. He's fucking stuck. You see him expire on fucking camera, fucking crying, agonizing pain. Maybe that'll cause you to think twice before you fucking defraud your employees. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is not out of the blue. You gotta justify every point, but that will be possible in a lot of instances. Justify every point and literally threaten somebody with fucking 127 fish hooks. You know? Fuck a horse's head, man. No, we got you fucking hooked. And so, don't volunteer to join a religion that explicitly states that it will be taken over by the Son of God, who doesn't fuck around, who knows what to do, because God fucking tells him. And when God says, do such and such, this guy does that fucking thing, just like a dog, yes sir, blam, does that thing, brings the bomb back, okay, what's next, and fucking that's the way to be, okay, now, uh, I don't really want to get into IQ and stuff, but there's, I mean, yeah, I mean, shit dude, you gotta pay attention to that, if you're a priest, for sure, anyway, uh, don't join a religion, unless you mean to join the religion, okay? Don't fucking commit to giving everything to me if you don't want to give everything to me, 
Alright. That's why it says if you don't know the time. 2023, 1335. Watch the time video. If you don't know the time, I will come like a thief. Okay, ten virgins. You don't have the fucking oil. Your lamp is gone out. I don't give a fuck. I don't need ten wives. Apparently, I, I just need five. Not a big fucking deal. So, I mean, that's what's that. Fuck this stupid shit. Fuck you fucking pretenders. God's coming for you.